One of the questions I get asked so very often in my classes is how I add an end thread in my pieces. And the answer is it depends on what stitch I'm working on. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you how I add an end thread in peyote. Peyote, I tend to not tie any knots. So it's just a matter of weaving around, but there are a couple of tricks to it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a little piece of flat peyote that I created. And even though I still have quite a bit of thread attached to this, we're gonna pretend that this is short. Uh, I would want to, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna cut this short, just kind of show you guys at what point I would start thinking about actually worrying about changing thread. So kind of once you get down to here, and you could even go a little bit shorter than this, but you wouldn't wanna go significantly shorter than this. Okay, so at this point, now I'm talking uh, serious. I need, to, I need to go ahead and get this, th this ended off because if you're like me, you're always, you're on the roll, you don't wanna stop and end your thread and add new thread. And what happens is you keep working it until it gets shorter and shorter. And then you start having a really hard time when you're doing the weaving around because you don't have much room to maneuver because this thread is so short. And I have even had to do be so dramatic as to, in the past, I've had to take my stitch through, partway through a bead, thread the needle, and then pull it. Trust me, you don't wanna do that. It's a very pathetic little thing. So just get in the habit of getting to this point and going, okay, I've gotta stop. Now here's the other thing that I always used to screw up uh, until I got into the habit of, of doing this. It's everybody's, um, instinct to want to end this thread off before they start a new thread because you don't want to have two threads attached. But what happens with peyote is you forget where your thread was coming out. And I did this more times than I care to admit. Uh, I would get to the point where I'd end this thread off and then I wouldn't remember. I know I knew I finished a row, but did I come out this end or this end? And it makes a great big huge difference uh, which one you're coming out of. So now what I do instead is I add my new thread first. And that way, once that is finished and put in coming out that same bead that your current thread is coming out of, then you can go ahead and end the old one off and not have to worry about it anymore. So what I do is I get the, the new thread ready and I'm just gonna kind of randomly pick a spot a couple rows back on a diagonal. And I'm just going to pass my needle through a couple of beads doesn't really matter where you're working here. I need to leave enough of a little tail for me to hold on to so I don't accidentally just pull this all out. And then I weave in an, the opposite direction. So this, so when I was going through there, I was working away from myself. Now I'm gonna work back towards myself. And what I wanna make sure I do is just pass through a bead that is right next door to it because what's gonna happen is as I pull this new thread, the thread is going to suck up and just sit right in that intersection, right between those two beads. And you can kind of see it go, pop in there and disappear. So that's why you wanna make sure that you're going into a bead that's right adjacent to the one that you were coming out of. And in this case, I'm just gonna go down another extra bead just so I, I went up to, I went down to, I'm gonna keep going down one more, so now I'm going down three. And then I know that I need to get work my way back up over here. So now I'm gonna kind of start targeting what direction I'm going. My rule of thumb is that I wanna change directions at least three times. So this will be my third time changing directions. Uh, if possible, um, I want to also weave back through the same bead in two different directions, which I already did when I was over here in this area. When I went up and came back down, I crossed over in one bead. And now I'm just working my way right on up to the new location for this guy to come out like that. And now this new one's ready to go. Uh, depending, you might not be able to see this, but these beads that I went through, there's, they're sitting up a little bit because of the extra passes of thread. All you have to do is just kind of wiggle them a little bit and then it makes it sit right back down again. I immediately want to get rid of this tail that I had hauled on to only for the purposes of keeping me from pulling that thread out uh, because otherwise I would forget whether that needed to be woven in or not. So now that I've got that new one ended off or started, I can end off the old one. And I'm gonna end off the old one in the exact same manner. 
It's just a matter of weaving back and forth a couple of times. I try to actually pick different beads than where I started the new thread because you don't want to fill those up with so much thread that you start having a hard time getting through them. So I just came down three beads. Now we'll go up three. Actually, we'll only go up two. I'm going to be a wild child. Like so. And then I'm going to come back on those one of those beads that I had come through before on the adjacent and come down two or three. And I'll probably actually come down three, but I'm going to have to do it one with two and one with one. Peyote stitch is very tight depending on your tension, but I tend to bead it fairly tight. And so you may have to move those beads one at a time and that's fine. There's no reason why that's a problem. So at this point it has changed directions three times and you can just clip that off and you are ready to go again with your new thread. So don't let adding an ending thread be a, a problem for you. One of the rules that I set for myself really early on is when I'm finishing a project for the night, uh, I, and I'm at that point where I need to add new thread, I make sure that I add the new thread before I go to bed at night. And the reason is because honestly, I just, we all dislike it so much that that can be a reason not to go back on with your project the next day. You can, you look at it and go, oh, I have to add new thread. Hmm, maybe I'll go do something else. So don't let that be a problem for you. Go ahead, get it taken care of, be a grown up, you can do it. And uh, you saw how easy it is. So don't, don't let it be a problem. Thanks. Mm -hmm.